paradise life relaxing. The villa houses for the crew, how we do? Paradise life relaxing. <laughs> this is Greg, aka Mr. Flip Flop, owner of Flip Flop Sports Bar and Taco Shop. We are located up the hill before Sasua Beach. If you pass the yellow steps, you went too far. Welcome to Flip Flop! What's good, friends and family? So I'm here right now with Wayne from Taino Shipping, a shipping company out of Porta Plata in Sasua recently. Um, he's one of the sponsors for the Holland Weekend. We're just now getting to this video, but I know you guys need to know about shipping. I'm always asked all the time about shipping into the Dominican Republic. This is the guy right here. Now, Wayne, introduce yourself and please let the people know exactly what you do with your company, Tino. Okay, sure, no problem. Um, we're a shipping company. Actually, this is more of a, Taino is more of an uh, express courier company. Okay. Okay? We also do shipping, uh, like marine shipping and all that, but that's another thing that we do. But uh, here at Taino, we mainly do uh, express courier shipping. So say, for example, uh, you buy something online and you want to get it, uh, you know, get it here for you within uh, two to three days. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's even other things, you know, it doesn't have to be necessarily uh, Amazon or one of those other big companies. You could, you could even have folks drop stuff off because we have a warehouse in Miami that you can have folks drop stuff off and uh, we'll get it to you here in the same amount of time, two, two, yes. two to three days. So, Wayne, real quick, there's a lot of people want to know about shipping, right? So, there's one thing that I know, because I've, I've, used, I've used your company many a times, um, you. you want to use this company, hit, hit them up, register with the company, and they'll give you an address, and the address will ship to Miami, then ship here to Dominican Republic. I've used, I've used this company many a times, and I get all my stuff now from them. So, Wayne, there is a specific tax on a certain amount of, um, of whatever your item costs. Can you right. tell us about that tax based on that amount? Great question. Um, this is what we we'll call a, a loophole in the tax system here. Mm -hmm. And uh, a lot of people really need to understand how it works. Because of certain tariffs they've had with the US government, whatever you're shipping under $200, duty free. Or okay. Let me say tax free. So under $200. Under $200. Okay. Under $200. It has to be under $200. If, it's, if you buy it for $299 or $298, and then the taxes, the US taxes, bring it up over $200, uh -huh. oh, you're going to pay this, it's over $200. Okay. So that's very important for people to know, because that's one of the questions I also get asked. I'm like, oh, but uh, the price was, hey, if the taxes bring it up or the shipping brings it up to over $200, that item is now to over $200. And that's when you're so getting taxed. That's when you get hit with the taxes. Okay. So you have to make sure the taxes, the shipping and everything keeps it under $200 and you will never get hit with that taxes. Um, there's, I, I, honestly, there's also some ways around that. Like, mm -hmm. you know, like, and I, I, it's not even a, illegal or anything. You ship multiple times instead of shipping one time you know I'm, you know everybody knows that a lot of you know you got to do that but if it, if it is one item right if it's one over item, 200 then you're getting yes, tapped. it's kind of hard for you to get around that it's gotcha. one item you know and another thing too even if it's under 200 dollars if it's a volume of stuff a high volume say for example um you're shipping phone cases mm -hmm. you're shipping like 10 phone cases uh, you know it's kind of hold on you can't use 10 phone cases. One person cannot use 10 phone no, cases. No, exactly, so yeah. They know that you're going to be, you, that's for commercial purposes. So then you'll still get taxes, even though that may only cost you $50. Okay. Because okay. of the volume. So that's another thing you got to remember that. You can't, not because it's under $20, but if you're shipping a high volume of any product. And that makes sense. They are going to automatically classify it as commercial goods. Okay. So you got to remember that also, you know, you, you know, and that's when you split up your shipping. It now that, it that was a big question people right. had, and I also had that situation where I was right at the two hundred dollar mark. Mm -hmm. But luckily, the, the shipping kept it under two hundred, exactly one ninety nine, right. exactly one ninety nine, and luckily I was okay. Right. But I do know people who got caught out there two two ten, two oh five, and still over two hundred dollars. That's the mark, and okay. they're hard about that. Now, real quick question: based on the two hundred or anything over two hundred, right? How, do, how? What are those taxes based off of? How do they tax? Very good. Another good question. It depends on the item. Certain items carry a certain percentage. Okay. So it, it's very hard for you to talk about unless you see what you know what item it is. Gotcha. Because there are different percentages on, on, on different items. And then you also have the, the regular 18% taxes. So it's a big it makes a big deal 
to know and to keep your stuff under two hundred dollars. Okay. You know, especially if you buy stuff online, just keep it under two hundred dollars. Now, more frequently. now I do want to say this. I, I, I we're gonna take a, a peek inside real quick, but I do notice that you do something that I've seen another company do, and I love it. So you can come here and order. Yes, yes. Through you. Correct. Use your credit card. Correct. Pay you. Yes. And we get the shipment. My fault. I'm doing this right now. I, I'm, I'm about to show my mouth. I was asked that question because a lot of people don't know that. Right. I've actually told people when I order uh -huh. Amazon, right. if I don't want to use my card, right. I come to you. Mm -hmm. Order. Pull, pull up the pull up the page. Right. Order through him. Right. And Tino pays for it. Yep. You pay. You pay Tino, basically. Right. So, and when, and when the package arrives, you also pay the ship. The um, the weight of the shipping. Right. Now, how, how, on a sidebar, how does that work as far as the weight when it sure. when it arrives? Uh, I know it's different, but it's just right. average. What we try to do is, in that situation, we take payment for the the, the item at the a yes. time, mm -hmm. and then once the shipment comes in, you pay for that shipment just like how you would have done it. Of course. Shipment because what, what is the average? I'm sorry to cut you off. What is the average? Price on per pound. Uh, give oh, or take. okay. Like right, when it well, arrives. Well, I'm more because uh, it varies on also. You see, uh, uh, well, our our average is about two. I'm telling you in U.S. numbers. Yeah, now, yeah. And about two dollars and thirty five cents. But it varies if you certain items. Um, we make sure we put insurance on. It. Okay. If I know it's a high value item, I'm gonna put insurance on it. You got you. Tell me, oh no, because if it gets damaged. You're gonna look at me to replace. No, because people always ask me, and they go, "I go, no, no, I go, I know, I know it varies. I go, it's around two dollars and right. change, yeah, it's give or take. Yeah, but it, it varies from different, different. It uh, it, items. It, honestly, it does vary because you know, like I said to you before, it, it comes down to the insurance. And the reason gotcha. why I do that is because I customer service means the world to me. Hundred percent. And sometimes, and I hate, I'm gonna say it like it is, a customer don't understand. See, ahead of time, they go, "Oh no, they're shipping." And then when it comes and something happens to it, they're like, oh man. And I'm like, hey. No. We did tell you. But then, you know, but then they're happy that you charge them a little 50 cents for insurance. And everything's and, okay. I, I, you know what I mean? But then before that, they're like, oh man, 50 cents, no, no, no. You know? So now, Wayne, we uh, got all the information we need, but we need more info. In the pinned comment of this video, mm -hmm. you will have all the information for Tino Shipping, the website and everything. But also, Wayne, I'm going to say on your behalf, because I've used your company many a times, mm -hmm. I love how his company operates. Thank you. Everything comes when it lands in Miami, I get an email and a text message. When it, when it lands in DR, I get an email, text message with the receipt of how much I got to pay. They, they bring it to the bar if I'm at the bar. They bring it to the house if I'm at the house. They're very efficient, very organized. So I love using your, your, your services. And I'm saying this because I've actually used your services. You know, and, and let me just add to that. One of the things I try to do, because I've been in the business for over 27 years. Okay. Uh, before I came to the other because I, I have another company, existing company in the Bahamas that I, I do the same thing. Gotcha. And in all honesty, I wanted to bring cu customer service. Customer service. Just say it like it is. You know what I mean? Because a lot of us, especially us expat that lives here, mm -hmm. we use a certain way of doing business. 100%. And a lot of times, it's hard to find it here. 100%. You know? And so that's why I try to emphasize on that a lot. And I try, I, you know, I stress that with my employees. Hey, we got to give people a certain level of service, you know, because it's not, I would never come, try to compete with these guys on prices because everybody can do a low price. Uh -huh. You know? It's the service that we're selling. Service. And, and Wayne, you're much appreciated.